Welcome everybody to the course on dynamics and control. As you remember, this is an uh, interactive course uh, about the basic concepts of systems, control and their impact in all the human activities. Uh, today we are going to uh, bring some concluding remarks. You remember that the course uh, had six modules dealing with the examples of systems and signals, models of systems and signals, and the properties of uh, control systems. Then, after that, we have de been dealing with uh, control system design approaches and we uh, show the benefits of the control. Finally, we analyzed some uh, topics uh, to be studied more in depth. So, the aims of this course, as you remember, is uh, assuming a general knowledge of the world, uh, could be the human body, industrial plants, uh, aircrafts, or uh, robots in the, um, in the moon, or just uh, equipment at the laboratory, like this uh, inverted pendulum, then we uh, avoid the use of complex mathematics. You remember that the mathematics we have been using is uh, just the proportional or derivative or integral actions, in the case of the controllers, and in the case of more complex systems, we define what is uh, the model of the process by means of the operator, G is an operator, providing the output given the input. And then, uh, based on this, provide a clear, clear understanding of the basic concepts of uh, systems, dynamics, feedback and control. Probably you also remember that we have been using this uh, control loop. This is the basic uh, control loop where we are taking information from the system and in the controls of system, we are generating the control actions, trying to uh, fulfill the goals and also to uh, eliminate, eliminate or reject the disturbances. And the key idea here is uh, feedback, because we are using information from the system to generate the control. And by this, we can change the dynamics of the system. The dynamics could be very fast, uh, slow, with errors, without errors, and the idea of the feedback and the idea of the control is that we are uh, going to be able to change these dynamics. And we developed uh, several examples and we show some of the demos to illustrate the role uh, of the control uh, in changing the dynamics, also to fulfill some requirements like uh, stability, the tracking of a reference signal, rejecting the disturbances or filtering the noise, and being robust about, uh, against the changes in the model or providing some opt optimality in the behavior and <coughs> also achieving new applications and challenges. For instance, the uh, driving in a platform of cars or having a, an embedded control system inside the car, controlling many facilities or just with this uh, smart uh, uh, shirt, uh, providing some information about the body to control the activity of uh, sperman, or in the last case, uh, also just uh, uh, analyzing the behavior of the molecules or the genes in the human body. <coughs> and how uh, to proceed with this uh, course? Then you should work on the video uh, sessions linked to each module, and after that you go on the questions at the end of each uh, module and ask any question. This will be a connection with a platform for you to interact with uh, the teachers and then <coughs> you should perform the two tests uh, provided if you are interested in, in getting a mark about this uh, course and uh, send your feedback about the interest and benefits of this course and finally suggest some improvements. With all that we will finish our course which uh, as I mentioned uh, showing that control is everywhere and the control is a hidden technology. We cannot see it, but it's everywhere. So, um, thank you very much for your attention and for following this course.